Hello oh, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look on the Ishin TX03 all-in-one camera. This one is adjustable between 0 to 200 milliwatt output power. There's also the TX01 which is 25 milliwatt, TX02 which is 200 milliwatt and this is the adjustable one. So inside the box we're getting the camera, we're getting a small instruction manual and we're getting also this adapter that allows it to connect it to a 1S battery. The walking voltage is between 2.5 to 5.5 volts. The weight of the camera including the wire is 4.71 grams. Maybe we can, we can save about 0.2 grams by just cutting it very close to the connector. So after powering up with a 1S battery, this is what we're seeing. Zero, it means now right now it's not transmitting any anything. If we press it for 3 seconds, we can choose the band. It supports 72 channels, so we have nine bands. If I press it again for three seconds, we can choose the channel. So between one to eight. And if we long press it, so we can choose between zero, one hyphen, two hyphens, and three hyphens. Three hyphens means now it's 200 volt. Zero is zero, this is one, this is 25, 50, and 200 milliwatt. These sort of cameras are really useful if you want an all-in-one solution to put on a micro quadcopter or on an RC airplane, for example. You can put it also on these kind of micro quadcopters. Here I'm using a different solution. I'm using the VTX-03, which is a little bit similar. And the integrated Cloverleaf antenna provides you a decent amount of range. So if you're looking for 200, 300 meters of range, this might be a perfect solution for you. By the way, these antennas are pretty fragile, so it's a good idea to order a couple of more and to use a decent protection around this camera in order to protect this antenna. The next thing we're gonna do, we're going to perform a delay test. So right now it's set to 25 milliwatt. You know what, let me take it to a tour around the house. I'll show you how it performs. Right now it's on 25 milliwatt. Okay, so let's perform the delay. So you can see even on 25 milliwatt, the quality is pretty good. And if you're flying it, if flying a quadcopter indoor, 25 milliwatt, it's going to be enough for you. Okay, so let's perform the delay test. You can see that the delay is very low and it's actually close to zero. Overall, I think this camera performs very well. I picked it up on Banggood for about $17. The goal is between $17 to $26. If you were to choose between the TX01, 02, and 03, I would suggest take the TX03. You can use it in different areas. You can choose between 25 to 200 milliwatts. So it's pretty useful whether you apply it indoors or outdoors. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.